Um, hello? <laughs> Jesper Johansson, postman. Oh, uh, Mr. Klaus, you have a gift. You were meant for making toys. So, I figured, if you donate your old toys, I'll deliver them for free. Tonight, I go with you. There's no need for you to come with me, really. Tonight, well, then. Klaus deals with, with a topic that's very important to, to a lot of people, obviously, Christmas and, 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 and Santa Claus. But also, what is um, key for you as a filmmaker in order to create a story that's at the same time, like you said, considerate and you've done your research, and at the same time, entertaining, and at the same time, um, you know, very emotional? Because I think uh, human emotion is a at the bottom of at the heart of the story and that's why people relate to it well that's that storytelling is a craft and and uh, and you never know it you never get so good at it that you that you go okay let me i've done this so many times i'm just gonna write a perfect story on the first try that never happens you know mm -hmm. uh it's you have to forget everything you know and relearn it each time you know um I, th I find that what's helpful for me is, is knowing what emotions I want the audience to feel and then make sure that I craft a story that leads to that, you know, because filmmaking or film viewing should be an emotional experience. I, I got into animation because I love to draw. Uh, so at the time, there was no CGI and I just had a love for drawing. So to me, when I found out that animated cartoons were sequential drawings, it, in my mind, that became like the highest form of drawing that you can have. Like if you can actually make your drawings come to life, you know. So I, I was very driven to make that my profession, you know. Um, and I got to work on some of these uh, great hand-drawn films, like you know Tarzan and Treasure Planet, and then and, and Tar and what what else? Uh, Hunchback and uh, Hercules. So I got to work on some of those, you know. And there was still hand-drawn animation. But then uh, CGI came along and we, the industry decided that uh, CGI was uh, an evolution of, uh, of animation. I always thought to me it was a split. And I welcomed CGI, but I never accepted that it should mean the death of uh, traditional animation. So the studios basically stopped innovating, both artistically and technologically. And I thought someone should pick it up where we left off and, 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 and try and push it forward and use some of the tools that are there and maybe not intended to be used for this, but what if we try and use them and see what happens, you know? And try and demolish some of the limitations that traditional animation has always had. Like we couldn't have a sense of light. Shall we then? Yep. <gasps> Mr. Klaus is the coolest. Klaus? What about me? Ow! What the loser? Oh yeah, well if I'm a loser, then you, you're you're a you're a uh, yeah you're, you're too far, you're gone. Hey, what do you guys think you're doing? This is Smirensburg, the unhappiest place on earth. And you two can't change that. Ah! The postman and toy maker are brainwashing everyone! We need to show people that a true selfless act always sparks another. Hi! What's happening right now? Oh no. Holy mother! What happened? Not a word. You just sit there. Be all magical and awesome. I don't know how long it all took you to uh, put it all together because my brother is an animator and I've seen him work and I know that it requires him sometimes a day just to make a character, I don't know, move his limbs or something. Right. So I can just, I can only imagine the amount of people involved in this project and the time and the effort. Look, it took about nine years altogether. It was not continuous work because we were working on other projects, but since we started working on 2017 till the end of 2019, it was about two years and a half on nonstop. And it was a struggle and a scramble. And it was, uh, it was about uh, knowing what the goal was and seeing it get closer and just trying not to freak out and trying to do the best we could. But yeah, it's, it's insane. And, uh, and, and finding the right people was difficult and, and, and keeping up with all the problems that come up, you know, uh, and every day you deal with a hundred problems. But then I 
this was my first film. So I thought, well, you know, it'll get easier, you know, as we learn. Does it? And I spoken to veteran animators since, and they tell me, no, it's <laughs> just that every time. So don't, don't even hope for an easier time next time around. And how do you think the future of Klaus will change now that it's on Netflix, it's been nominated for an Oscar, it's been nominated for a European Film Award, um, and that's pretty big, especially in, in the world that we live in. Apparently Netflix and HBO are becoming the, the power. Um, so what do you think is going to happen to Klaus from now on? Because we know that a lot of animations receive the, um, how do I put it, they, they become cult films for a lot of kids and for a lot of adults, because I'm an adult and I love Klaus. And I laughed and I cried and I did everything that you were supposed to make me do. <laughs> Um, I, when you, when I realized we were making a Christmas film and it was not intentional, like I was uh, literally, we were looking for, I was looking for a character to tell an origin story with. And I, uh, I, I landed on Santa Claus as an accident. And, and then I said, that's not what I intended to do, but Santa does not have a canon origin story. And I think there's room for it there. So. Uh, and then one day I said, oh crap, we're making a Christmas film. So that completely changes the landscape because now you're going, okay, so Christmas film has very clear parameters. Like the gold standard is to become one of those very short list of films that people watch every year for Christmas, right? It's like your, your you know, um, your Miracle on 34th Street, your, your um, you know, uh, The Grinch, your, um, you know, uh, Night Before Christmas and your uh, uh, Die Hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but I do hope that, you know, somehow people will recommend it to each other and they will somehow acquire that status of Christmas favorite eventually, you know. But I do think that's a process that may take years because these films don't, don't happen overnight. You know? ¿Cuál es la parte más importante para creer alguien que se va a quedar en la mente de la gente, en la historia, que se, que se va a quedar. <risas> en realidad es la historia, o sea, yo he, he sido diseñador de personajes, quiero decir, cuando he creado personajes, eh, lo que he hecho ha sido el diseño del personaje, pero si, si es memorable o no, tiene muy poco que ver con el aspecto físico del personaje, es más, es la, huella, la huella emocional que puede dejarte es lo que hace que, que conecte o no. Entonces... Es, es como digo, la primera película que escribo y dirijo, con lo cual eh, ahora tengo más claro que nunca que es eh, un personaje está en una historia no porque te hace falta variedad o porque no, tiene una función específica que es esencial y si la, la historia está bien escrita, eh, si eliminas un personaje se te desmonta todo. Eh, porque es, todo es esencial, ¿no? So, para mí, Klaus, es una película maravillosa y gracias por, por hacerla. Y mi última pregunta es súper cortita. ¿Qué es la Navidad para usted? El espíritu navideño era algo que siempre me ha fascinado. Esa idea de que hay dos meses al año que estás más dispuesto a ofrecer tu ayuda a alguien que está más dispuesto a aceptarla. Pues esta otra película sobre la Navidad de animación. Dije, si podíamos capturar la esencia de ese espíritu navideño como mensaje, Sería una manera interesante que no se ha hecho, que yo recuerde mucho en cine. Y esa idea de que quizás sea una película que deje a la gente con un buen sabor de boca y con, con ese espíritu navideño, que aunque les dure media hora después de ver la película solo, a nivel mundial y a nivel de millones de personas, realmente hace un efecto. Y, eh, y, y, y me gustaría pensar que, que, me, que cada vez que alguien ve la película, esa media hora por lo menos... <risa> van a ser seres humanos decentes y si, y, si, y si hemos conseguido eso ya hemos conseguido mucho ¿no? Sí, todos necesitamos un poco de, de magia en, en este momento especialmente Muchísimas gracias Gracias a vosotros gracias. No, no. Ah. Ha, our snow, you... They're not attached Why aren't they attached? I thought they were attached I would never in a million years have done what I just did if I didn't think these were attached Always have